One of our best-selling peppers has always been the Cubanelle pepper, also known as the Italian frying pepper. Today we're going to show you how to stuff these with Italian sausage, top them with some cheese, and make a really great snack. This will work well with Marconi peppers too. We have four peppers here. That'll make eight snacks. And the first thing we want to do is cut the stem ends off of these peppers. We want to cut the peppers in half lengthwise, trying to keep each half approximately the same size. When we're done, we should have eight halves that will cook evenly. A lot of folks don't cut the peppers in half lengthwise, preferring to hollow out uh, the whole peppers and stuffing them. If you do it that way, it's a lot more difficult to clean the membranes and seeds out of the peppers. By cutting them in half lengthwise, it's a lot easier to clean out the seeds and membranes. Plus, I like to have the stuffing browned and crusty. Also, cutting them lengthwise allows you to add a lot more cheese or whatever other topping you'd like to put on them. When we're done, we have eight pepper halves cleaned and ready to stuff. Since we have Italian frying peppers, we should probably stuff them with Italian sausage, right? We'll use four ounces of the Italian sausage. In addition to using the upside down Italian sausage, we'll use some mozzarella cheese and a mixture of five Italian cheeses. The Italian sausage has a lot of fat in it and we're going to use some breadcrumbs to soak up the grease. I like these breadcrumbs, but you can certainly toast your favorite bread and make your own breadcrumbs. We'll use a third of a cup of breadcrumbs for our quarter pound of sausage. We'll put the breadcrumbs with the Italian sausage in a bowl and add one teaspoon of garlic powder. We'll mix the sausage, breadcrumbs, and garlic powder thoroughly. Be sure to incorporate all of the breadcrumbs and garlic powder into the mixture. Lay out all the pepper halves and get them ready for stuffing. Begin stuffing the meat, breadcrumbs, and garlic mixture into the pepper halves. I'm using a fork here because with the meat chilled, I find it easier to use a fork than a spoon or a knife. When I got to the last one, I found that I didn't have enough of the meat mixture left to fill up that pepper half. So I had to steal some meat from some of the others. All the pepper halves are now stuffed and ready to cook. I've placed the stuffed peppers on a piece of parchment paper on a cookie sheet. I've alternated the direction of the peppers on the cookie sheet so that they will cook more evenly. I've preheated the oven to 425 and set the timer for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we've removed the peppers from the oven. We'll put the mixture of five Italian cheeses on half of the peppers. and put the mozzarella cheese on the other half. And we'll put the peppers back in the oven for 10 more minutes.
I checked them after six minutes and noticed that the peppers on the back row had browned more than the ones on the front row, so I turned the cookie sheet around. I removed the peppers from the oven after they had cooked the full 10 minutes. The peppers on the back row in this picture were the ones with the Italian 5 cheese mixture and they had clearly browned more than the ones in the front. That may be due to the fact that I used the cheap bagged mozzarella cheese rather than using fresh mozzarella. The peppers on the back row with the 5 cheese mixture are clearly browner than the ones on the front row with the mozzarella cheese mixture, but my goodness, they all look good. Okay, we've let these cool about uh, five or ten minutes, and uh, we're going to give them a try. I'm trying the mozzarella cheese because I'm not a fan of the Italian cheese. It's got way too much fennel flavor in it, so I'm going to try the mozzarella. Let's see what it tastes like. Whoa, that's really good. The Italian sausage is not greasy. It's crunchy. That, uh, that really does taste good. Give these a try. Italian frying peppers, also known as cubanelles. <coughs> some Italian sausage, and some mozzarella cheese. Enjoy! Got my Clark Kent glasses on.